Welcome to this instructional video for the iPulse Ox Monitor. The iPulse Ox Monitor is a cellular connected pulse oximeter to help make managing respiratory disease simpler. The iPulse Ox measures SpO2, or oxygen saturation levels, as well as pulse rate. In this video, we will cover a number of topics that will help you set up your iPulse Ox meter and take successful SpO2 readings that will be sent securely and automatically to your healthcare provider. Please note, this video is not a substitute for reading the user manual or the directions of your healthcare provider. If you have any questions about when or how often to test your SpO2, please reach out to your healthcare provider. What's in your iPulse Ox system kit? The iPulse Ox comes with everything you need to take and transmit SpO2 readings, including the iPulse Ox monitor, carrying case, lanyard, two AAA batteries, and the user manual. Getting to know your iPulse Ox meter. The iPulse Ox has a simple one-button operation design, making it easy to use. It's important to note that the iPulse Ox is intended for use in adults only and should not be used for children, as readings may be inaccurate. The iPulse Ox has an LCD display screen that shows SpO2 percentage, pulse rate, battery life, and cell signal. The iPulse Ox can be used on either hand and the screen can be rotated for easier viewing by simply pressing the button during a reading. Battery installation. To install batteries before your first reading or to replace existing ones with new ones, remove the door of the battery compartment located on the bottom of the meter. Install the batteries according to the diagram in the battery compartment to ensure correct polarity. Once the batteries have been installed correctly, replace the cover on the battery compartment. Lanyard installation. Thread the thinner end of the lanyard through the lanyard hole located on the bottom corners of the meter. Then thread the thicker end of the lanyard through the thinner end of the lanyard. Pull the thicker end of the lanyard until it's tight. Directions for use. Insert your finger into the device, positioning it between the rubber cushions of the lid. Press the white power function button to turn the device on. After a few seconds, the SpO2 and pulse rate values will appear on the display screen. Keep your finger still during the measurement process, which should take approximately 30 seconds. Once the measurement has been completed, the device will begin to transmit the data over the cell network, which should take about 30 additional seconds. When the data has been transmitted, you will see success on the bottom of the display screen. Cleaning and disinfecting. When cleaning or disinfecting your eye pulse ox, do not immerse the meter in water or disinfectant. Clean the meter with a cotton ball or soft cloth. After cleaning, dry the iPulse Ox with a soft cloth or let it air dry. To disinfect the meter, first clean as previously described, then take a cotton ball or soft cloth moistened with a recommended disinfectant and wipe down the meter. After disinfecting, Wipe off the meter with a cotton ball or soft cloth that has been moistened with water and leave to air dry. This concludes the iPulse Ox instructional video. While we covered a number of topics and everything you need to be able to set up your iPulse Ox monitor and take successful readings, there is more detailed information in the user manual, and this video should not be a substitute for reading it. For more information, or if you have additional questions about your iPulse Ox monitor, please contact iPulse Ox customer support by emailing us at support at iGlucose.com.